the toilet, commode, john, loo, porcelain throne, or latrine. No matter what term you use, the toilet can now be found almost anywhere. Despite the negative connotations associated with toilets, they serve a positive purpose in disposing of waste in a sanitary manner. The first inventor of the modern flush toilet is unknown. Many give credit to English sanitary engineer Thomas Crapper for inventing the valve and siphon arrangement, or Alexander Cumming, who patented a flushing device in 1775. Others believe the toilet was created by a nameless Minoan who lived 4,000 years ago. Regardless of its inventor, the toilet is a simple yet ingenious contraption. Today, there are many different types of toilets, including gravity-fed flush, pressure tank, flushometer, and dual flush toilets. The most common type of toilet is the gravity-fed flush toilet, which consists of two main parts, the bowl and tank. The flange on the floor connects the main drain to the bottom of the bowl assembly, with a wax ring serving as a seal between them. A spud gasket acts as a connector and a seal between the bowl and the tank. The heart of the toilet is contained in the tank and is protected by the tank lid. The inner parts of a toilet are fairly simple. When someone flips the flush handle, a chain reaction of events begins. The handle lifts the trip lever, which in turn pulls a chain that lifts the tank flapper off the flush valve. As water rushes down through the opening into the bowl, the reservoir of water and the waste in the bowl yield to gravity and pass through the toilet's trap, down through the closet vent, and out a drain. Inside the tank, the float descends with the outrushing water until, at a predetermined level, the attached shutoff rod trips the water supply valve, called the ball cock. At the same time, the tank flapper settles back into the flush valve, stopping water from leaving the tank. The ball cock opens to supply fresh water into the tank through a refill tube and then into the bowl through the overflow tube. When the float rises to its filled position, the ball cock shuts the water off and the flush cycle is complete and ready to work again. As you can see, the toilet has evolved far from its original hole in the ground to become a prominent amenity in today's society.